So we're out here at St. Norbert Heritage Park. I wanted to come in here and have a little squirt around. Uh, fabulous little place. Uh, a lot of history here. Uh, obviously, it's a heritage park. Um, but the water levels are up really high, so there's no self-guided river walk tours and stuff like that. Uh, and the place where I went to go camp uh, is totally flooded out, so that's not going to happen. Uh, I was trying to find the Trappist Monastery. Uh, I wanted to really go in there and do a photo shoot and uh, kind of squirt around in there for a while. Uh, but I couldn't even find it. I took uh, Pemina Highway all the way out of town um, until I got to Risho, I believe it's called. R-I-C-H-O-T. So I believe that's Risho. Um, yeah, sorry my names are horrible. I just... Uh, yeah. So back here is a beautiful little place to camp, but it looks like this place is under electronic security lockdown or something. Like the gates, looks like the parks commission or somebody comes and they lock this place up every day. I just don't really want to get in trouble. Um, there's no sign saying that I can't camp. So, I don't know. I'm mean, not quite sure what we're gonna do. I uh, just, you know, uh, I don't want to keep burning fuel for nothing. I just don't have money for doing all that, you know. Uh, and, and the bike is still breaking in right now. Um, so it's not the easiest on fuel as it is. I got to get the carburetor just a little better. I think it's just blowing out a whole bunch of extra fuel. It's running pretty uh, rich right now. And uh, so it's something I have to keep my eye on, obviously. So I'm going to go and have a little snack, a little break over on the bench over here. And then, uh, I don't know, I'm probably going to mount up and get out of here because uh, it's a beautiful place to camp back there, but like I say, a um, little in the open, a little exposed, and I don't want anybody in the neighborhood uh, out here in St. Norbert being upset that, uh, you know, there's somebody out here camping in this, in this place, so uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get out of here, but um, it's been a wonderful place to explore, and... Uh, hopefully uh, when the water levels go back down and stuff, I'll be able to come back out and uh, actually get on the self-guided uh, river walk tours and, and stuff like that. So, Alright guys, uh, when I get another uh, something on the go, another thought process, another update, whatever, I'll tune you all back in. Okay guys, there's uh, there's some people on the right half side of your screen doing some photography and chilling and relaxing. So I'm not showing the whole park back here, uh, but basically what I'm showing is uh, if we uh, take a little zoom in here, you'll be able to see the dark night leaned up there against the fence. And uh, I've talked to a few people now and uh, everybody says I should just go for it. And I'm just going to go for it, man. It's uh, just a little after 4 o'clock in the afternoon uh, today. And uh, I'm just going to camp up here. I mean, I'm going to take my chance. But it's just beautiful here. I'm right where the... Uh, if I switch around here. This uh, water uh, on the screen now is the LaSalle River. And it joins right there on that point uh the red river which is the water the body of water that's out there by the dark night so um but a beautiful little spot i'm going to camp underneath these uh these trees right here and uh, it's going to be lovely so really looking forward to it all right guys well we got our little camp set up here way back in the back corner there's a couple placards in the recycling bin but uh that doesn't bother me, man. I'm kind of doing things on a little bit of the stealth side right now. Um, so we don't mind talking ourselves away. It's a beautiful little park here. St. Norbert uh, Heritage, something or other. Just gorgeous. This is what I mean about this big property back here. Uh, just, just screams to put a tent up. So, sorry about the sun on the sun in your eyes
That was absolutely crazy. All these ducks landed in that tree. They all landed in that tree and they were so heavy that big branch broke right off and splashed down into the water. I love being out in nature, man. It's My heart is so full of joy and love right now. That was awesome to witness. I know I didn't get it on camera, I didn't get that tree branch breaking off, and, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure the microphone picked it up. That was... Give me a little look-see around here. This is the LaSalle River again. Uh, my second week in a row coming out to the LaSalle River. Well, Bob is getting ready to say goodnight. Oh, all those, all those ducks just came back and landed in the same tree. Alrighty guys, well, here's the view looking out my tent. Give me a better show here. Yeah, we didn't need that blue box in there, but yeah, that's the truth of the matter. This is where I'm snuggled in for the night. And, oh, wait a second. Ah, I messed it all up. Oh well, what can you do? Anyways, as you can see, uh, I'm snugly here in my tent. Life's good. Life's great. Like today, this is awesome. Uh, beautiful river view from the door of the tent. You got the corner answer. All up in the trees there on the other side of the of the creek and yeah it's just it's getting cold out now um, as Manitoba does it's it's chilly out so uh, I'm just snuggled in my sleeping bag yeah I know I'm all in my dirty clothes from the day and whatever reasons I'm single I guess <laughs> so I'm just going to uh, I'd like to bring it to you live. This is actually how things work in a tent. But, uh, get my book. It's funny, there was a comment. Uh, I got a message. Uh, a guy asked me how long I was going to take to read this dang book. You know, I really kind of felt like saying as long as it dang well takes, but I don't want to come across like that or nothing. <laughs> Uh, no, but here's the truth of the matter is usually uh, I, I, I don't get in the tent until it's almost dark or dark and uh, It doesn't usually take me very long after it's dark and I'm in my sleeping bag and I just call it a night man so um, sometimes I open it up and I find out where I was and then uh, I Just put it away sometimes I read a couple pages sometimes a chapter, but you know um, uh, so yeah, uh, I'd be having a cup of tea right now, but I forgot a darn tea bag. And, uh, I have one cup of coffee for tomorrow. And I don't like drinking coffee at this time of night, that's for sure, because, uh, yeah. That doesn't, uh, that doesn't bode well with the, uh, going to sleep at dark. Getting up at, uh, uh, uh at light, you know, so. Um, the one thing I did want to mention today... Uh, I think you guys should, uh, 
should get over to Backcountry Angling Ontario. Get over there and check out that channel, man. Uh, his name's John. His girlfriend's Aaron. They're uh, they're an awesome couple. Um, this I don't know why this guy only has twenty thousand subscribers. I mean, honestly, his storyline is great. His attitude and his personality are top shelf. His B roll is absolutely killer. Um, it, it, he's a fishing monster. Uh, he's not afraid to get out and and get into where nobody else wants to go. Like it's just, it, it's one of my favorite channels. Uh, I think you guys should get over there. I mean, I I know when he get when a new one of his new uh, videos comes out because I hit that subscribe or the notification button for him, and I think you guys should too. Get over there and give this guy a check, man. It's Backcountry Angling Ontario. I'll put a link, or I'll even put something like right up here, up here. I mean, wherever. Um, yeah, get over there and check him out. It's awesome. What an awesome channel, man. So. Uh, you'll all just be doing yourselves a, a huge favor uh, if you're if you like outdoor stuff. Um, it's not uh, like his, he's his trips are fishing based, um, but it's not just a fishing show. It's 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 so much more than that. So, um, like he's just it, it, it's just it's just good watch, man. Get over there, give him some love. Tell him that I sent you. Tell him that Leather Champ sent him sent you. Let him know. Let's give this guy some love, man. He deserves it. All right, so we got out of town. The bike uh, ran well again, and uh, I want to thank Ralph for uh, 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 giving me the spark plug that I installed in the bike. Um, it's running a little bit rich, so I'm gonna have to find a way to get that carburetor adjusted just where it's like it's not excess fuel and it's not running lean. So um, you know, I want to hit that sweet spot, and I'll, I'll get there. Um, but like, this is my second trip on it. You know, so um, it's gonna take a little bit of time yet. So, but all in all, things are good. I'm, I'm, I'm still like to be honest with you. I'm, I'm still a little bit uh, nervous uh, because it's, it's unknown to me. You know, like I don't want to find myself way out in the middle of nowhere and then I have a problem. Like I really want to just make sure that I take some shorter trips before we start heading off. You know. Uh, 100 kilometers uh, each direction or, or something like that so um, but it's a perfect time of year to do that uh, you know and uh, with COVID-19 you know unfortunately hitting striking the world um, I do have a, a you know this world needed a break anyways I mean like with the people not buying as much stuff and manufacturing not manufacturing as much uh, the world is not being polluted the way that it used to be and and that's only a good thing for for anybody that that cherishes uh, the world and the outside uh, the, the wildlife and stuff like that I'm I mean in all honesty I, I'm sorry for the people that are affected uh, traumatically by it um, you know it's that's that's no good at all but um, I, I, at the same point in time I mean this world needed a, a chance to breathe and uh, and uh, maybe humans will come out of this uh, with better thinking and, and uh, more maturity when it comes to sharing this world with wildlife and spaces and, and cleaning up the, the environment, you know, cleaning up those gases and carbon footprints and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm pretty much tucked in now. Uh, love this light that I got in here so I can uh, do this kind of filming at this time of night. Uh, it's just 20 to 9, um, but that's good. That's good with me. One thing I did forget today was I forgot again, second time, shame on me, is the bike lock for my bike. Um, just like so that nobody runs up in the middle of the night and tries snagging it, you know? Um, even just to lock the wheel to the frame or something, you know, where they like it just and I forgot. So shame on me for that. I'm gonna have to seriously put that in this worthless computer of mine um and so i don't forget for next time because um i mean I, i'm not anticipating any trouble out here <clears throat> the few people that i have seen are you know mature or, or elderly and they all you know just wish me well and have fun and stay warm and doing all that kind of stuff so um but at the same point in time um it just, I think it would probably just go for an easier sleep at night, you know, knowing that uh, nobody can just run up and just 
skank off with my with my ride. So, um, yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm gonna stop blabbering on here. Um, and thank you all kindly very much for coming along on this uh, on a ride today. And uh, again, I'm out somewhere new. Uh, thank thankfully to the because of the dark night. Um, and slowly and slowly, uh, as as I grow more faith in in the machine, uh, then we'll be able to get out and do some longer bike packing trips and stuff like that. But um, basically, uh, for me right now, it's 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 getting me out uh, to where the places where I couldn't get before or just didn't get before, um, you know, because uh, I'd never really done bike packing before, you know. So it was either take a bus to city limits and then hitchhike or. Or just or just hike the whole way. So uh, this is new and this is kind of exciting for me. And I'm and I'm really uh, uh, I'm really liking the fact that I can get out to these places and and uh, and do this kind of stuff. So I hope that you guys are enjoying it. And I guess uh, we'll see you in the morning for coffee. Have a good night, everyone. Good morning. Oh, welcome to the morning. Oh, boy, Bob sure is bright this morning. That big orange ball. Oh, all right. Time to get some coffee on. Oh, they're sleeping in. Oh. How does a person like me sleep into all this racket? Oh. Oh. All right. I'll get up. Yep. Time to get up, get some coffee on. This day should have started two hours ago. Second time on the Sal River. Second time sleeping in the morning. Well, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's get up and get into some trouble. Probably looking rough. 
as they do every morning, eyes are probably all puffy like they always are. Um, it's chilly this morning. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gloves. You can see I didn't uh, I didn't forget my gallon jugger. I wasn't forgetting it after last weekend. There's that was not that snow. So I don't care if I gotta put a trailer on the back of this bike to carry this thing. That's it's I love having a good cup of coffee in the morning. Keeps it nice and warm for a while too, you know, so But I never uh and I don't know why, but I never expected the LaSalle River to be such a highway like I'll show you here with this goose. If I can. Uh, that's the mouth of the LaSalle right there where you see that Canada goose heading up. Probably gonna lose it here for the bank. But uh I didn't uh I didn't understand before what an important highway of uh travel the LaSalle River is for uh migrating uh waterfowl and, and birds just in general there's all kinds of these little black birds that um are coming in like uh flocks of like say 30 25 30 and it's just like and for the geese too and and the wood ducks and the cormorants last night oh there's an eagle there's an eagle see him on the tree that's an eagle oh where did he go That's an eagle. Sorry for the crap film work. Oh, is that beautiful. I don't have the camera to bring him in as, as close as I'd like. But is that beautiful? If you think I'm moving until this guy does, you're wrong. Oh, and he's talking. So there's a mating. It's a mating pair. Because he's talking. He goes, don't talk like that unless you're talking to somebody. Oh, I'm just stoked. I am just stoked. Don't run out of camera battery now. I thought I seen one yesterday and I wasn't sure so I didn't, you know. I like to be sure of things when I'm uh when I'm filming and putting my name and my reputation up on YouTube for the WWW the whole wide world. So I didn't film it yesterday. But I was right. And I am so stoked that this fella came back to see me this morning. I'm just out of my tent. I'm sitting on my sip pushing uh, and my uh, and my backpack uh, to keep my sleeping bag up off of the mud, staying warm, enjoying nature, and it just doesn't get any finer than a bald eagle coming landing. I don't know. It's a hundred, not even yeah, not even a hundred yards, fifty yards away from me. Just sitting there. I was wondering why the area was getting quiet.
The amount of wildlife out here is blowing my mind. To the point where I almost have tears in my eyes. I'm just overwhelmed. And it's all thanks to putting an 80cc gas engine on a bicycle. And here I am. Amazing. If I would have known I could have done this a long time ago, I would have been putting a, a gas motorcycle or a gas engine on a bicycle a long time. There he goes. Oh, where is he? Sorry guys, I know that wasn't the best film footage that I could uh, have brought to you. Uh, but I just, you know, it's like seeing that car accident happen, all of a sudden you just freeze. And uh, it took me a second to grab the camera. <laughs> and then I lost him. Um, but the amount, of, like, there's geese, there's ducks, there's eagles, there's I'm just missing my, I, I'm just missing an owl right now and this would just, I would absolutely take over this territory and call it home and never leave. Um, this is amazing out here. Those cormorants yesterday, <laughs> so many of them on that tree, they, they, they broke the whole big lump and tree branch off man. I mean that thing was like 20 feet long, it must have been this big around. Uh, just. What an amazing little overnight adventure. And I'm so glad that you all came with me. So glad that you're all here with me doing this. This is just tremendous. Uh, it's bundled up in my sleeping bag down here on the riverbank. Like I say, there's, uh, there's very few places that will rival the prairies for, for the skies that, that we have. And then here I am just sitting down here, right here on this riverbank. Got the, uh, sorry, got the camp is right back there. You can kind of see it. There's this wooden fence here that because this uh, river bank is very unstable with the fluctuating rivers, uh, what, what they have here is, uh, oh, get working on my camera skills here a little bit better this morning. Uh, down here is the floodgates like, that protect the city of Winnipeg. Um, so there's been some choppers flying up and down here this morning. They're all taking a chance. Uh, they're, all, they're all taking a check. You can see there's a pickup truck uh, like right there. Uh, he's been there. Uh, or I guess it's this guy right here, that pickup truck there. Um, he's been there all since I would cloud in my bed. So there's somebody always there at the gates, uh, monitoring the situation, the flow, and stuff. But uh, once again, what? What a gorgeous, gorgeous little place to have camped up last night. I'm so glad that I took the chance. You know, because I wasn't going to. Um, I wasn't going to, you know. I was going to take off out of here and find somewhere else. That's my kind of music. Hey, I wasn't done dancing. <laughs> uh, 
Guys, I'm going to uh, finish off my pot of coffee. And uh, we're gonna go start tearing down. If I can ever get my butt off this riverbank, I don't know. It's gonna be pretty difficult this morning, but I only brought this one cup of coffee, so. It's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Alright guys, well, I played with the carburetor last night. I actually had it pretty much torn apart uh, in camp. Changed some, uh, some, changed some of the jetting and stuff, so I uh, guess we're going to see uh, how easy it is to start this morning. So we'll throw some choke on it, open the fuel, throw some choke, give it a little squirt, see how she does. Well guys, fortunately it's time for me to go and lock myself back up in this world. But I want to thank you all very kindly for coming out on today's uh, little adventure. Yesterday's little adventure that, man, I woke up, that bald eagle, and just the whole nine yards, you know. I never would have been here without this, without this little guy, you know. So, pretty tickled that I, uh, that I actually put them together and I'm putting them to use, so. Once again, if you, uh, if you enjoy something that holds the door for you, give this video a thumbs up, man. All right. And another thing, get over there to that backcountry angle in Ontario. Say hi to John. Tell him Leather Tramp sent you. Check out him and his, and his uh, partner. Um, they're a, a wonderful couple. Uh, like, honestly, you'll be glad that you did. Go check out that channel. I, I promise you, you'll be glad that you did. Until the next one, get out, stay out.